Hello YouTube, this is 1984 Terminator here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys giving you guys my surprise review. It is of Assassin's Creed Revelations for the PS3. Um, yeah, I, I finished this game uh, not too long ago, and I have to say that I was very very impressed with this game. Uh, this game wraps up the stories of uh, Altair, uh, Iban La Ahad, Nezio Aratori da Firenze. Um, and this is a very very good game. Um, I haven't played the multiplayer yet in this, but uh, I am looking forward to getting my hands on it, uh, or I'm yeah, and delving into it. Um, some new things they added in here is some new weapons, uh, including the hook blade, which allows you to climb higher uh, on buildings, and it's a really a handy dandy tool. Uh, bomb crafting skills, and there's three different kinds of bombs. There's the bombs that obviously kill the guards. A smoke bomb and distraction bombs, um, and and in in this game takes place in Constantinople, which is uh, which looks very very well done for this game, and it and it mostly takes place in Constantinople. Like one, like one part of the game takes place on a different island, but then then it comes back to Constantinople. So ninety percent of the game takes place in Constantinople. And then there's also something uh, in here called the Desmond sequences, where you find like these data fragments, and then uh, well throughout Constantinople, and then you play play the Desmond fragments. I have not uh, had a chance to delve into them yet, but <coughs> I hope to soon. Also in here, um, kind of kind of two things that really. Uh, one thing that really I didn't like was the uh, the tower defense mini game. And there wasn't as many open world missions in here. I don't know if it was just me or if I just flew through the game, but there wasn't that many open missions in here. I mean, it was open world, don't get me wrong. You can go anywhere. It's just there wasn't that whole lot of side missions to do. Um, there's still viewpoints in here. Um, there's still some story things in here which are very, very good, uh, especially finding the keys. Um, and every key that you find... Uh, after that particular sequence is done, you get to play as Altair for a little bit. Um, which I really enjoyed playing as Altair. You know, it finished up his story, and and then Ezio uh, was 52 years old, and you know he was still kicking ass as usual. But uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, those two things I said were just minor blemishes on an otherwise fantastic experience. I highly recommend you go pick up Assassin's Creed Revelations. But if you're new to Assassin's Creed, start off with the first game, then two, then Brotherhood, then this one, so you know what's going on. But like I said, I highly recommend this game. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, here, and I'm going to show you the inside of the case. There it is right there. There's the inside of the case. Uh, let's see. And uh, and there was also like weapon wheels in here as well that you could do. And instead of just one, there was two. And there's new armor in here. You can get different weapons and whatnot. So uh, so so yeah, fantastic game. I'm glad Ubisoft made it to finish up Altair's story. And uh, I'm really looking forward to Assassin's Creed Three. So uh, this has been 1984 Terminator here. I hope you guys enjoyed that review of uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. And uh, my next video will be a review over the uh, Splinter Cell HD Trilogy. So uh, this is 1984 Terminator here. I'd like to give a big shout out to my girlfriend Ariel. I love you very much, honey. Uh, Terminator T1988, man. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with your video. I don't know what's wrong with your computer, man. I hope you get it fixed soon. Uh, Darkstar did a thousand AK, the Italian gamer. Uh, FNG Wrestling, General the Destroyer. Um, and all my subscribers, thank you very much for being subscribed to me. And uh, please check out my other videos. And uh, this 1984 Terminator here, I'm out.